Warning, this video contains spoilers for every single game in the Ace Attorney series released on the DS. Pretty bold claim, right? Yeah, and I will admit that this article will most likely be much more opinionated than the rest, although I still have a lot to say about this topic. So anyway, before anything, let's explain, explain what this syndrome even means. The case 3 syndrome is the idea that the case 3 from every Ace Attorney game is the worst in, well, their game. I obviously disagree with this and find it ridiculous, as I feel the vast majority of their cases are actually really, really good and sometimes even one of the best, and definitely not the worst. So to under understand this syndrome, let's go through every third case in the series, starting with Turn About Samurai from Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Turn About Samurai is by many considered a filler case, and if we're only concerned about the plot, it kind of is. But I think Turn About Samurai was still necessary to Ace Attorney because while it has nothing important when it comes to plot, it's definitely important when it comes to characterizations. First of all, this is the first time we've seen Maya and Phoenix interact properly during investigations. It's really fun to see, and it gives us depth on their relationship. It's the first time we really get to see the more fun side of Maya that was missing in Turn About Sisters for obvious reasons with her sister dying, and we get to see Phoenix's reactions to them, which is always nice. We also get hints at Edgewood's redemption, which will later get expanded during Turn About Goodbyes. If you had to ask me what the worst case in the first game was, it would have to be the first turnabout, with Turnabout Sisters coming as a close second. And I know that many people don't like to count first cases because, you know, it's a tutorial and all, but honestly, the first turnabout is unacceptable, even for a first case. Future games show us that a first case can be interesting and fun while also teaching about the game. This case doesn't. I'm going to skip Turnabout Big Top since I have a separate video for it, so next we got Recipe for Turnabout. Recipe for Turnabout is terrible, but it's a great case. I know you're probably confused by that statement, but let me explain. As an average Ace Attorney case, it's terrible. However, this case isn't your average case. It is more or less a joke case. But not a bad joke case like talking about storytelling, but one that you could still take seriously and has a healthy balance between comedy and good writing. There's a lot of funny things about this case, whether it be Gene Armstrong's weird feminine nature, or how obvious Fury or Tigre is, to how he's roaring at everyone to gain control. It's hilarious, but there's still tension. There is a good story. Overall, if anything, it's memorable, and I would not call it the worst case in Trials and Tribulations. Now this is interesting. Turn about Serenade is my favorite case in Apollo Justice. When it comes to people hating this case, it's usually because of the logical inconsistency, mainly how the police suspected a 14-year-old blind boy of shooting a revolver that would break his arm. This argument, however, holds no water. First of all, it's just one inconsistency, and if that's all it takes to make you hate a case, you probably hate the entire series. Second of all, we've had defendants being arrested in ridiculous circumstances before. Thirdly, that was the point. The logical inconsistency were done on purpose to drive home the fact that the legal system is bad. It always has been, but now the characters are getting self-conscious. The game even says itself, so I'm honestly confused on why people think this is a problem. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the kidnap turnabout. It's long, boring, uninteresting, and stupid. However, I would not call it the worst case in the game, which should say a lot about what I think of investigations as a whole. However, overall, I found the first three cases of investigations to be a complete chore. They were all boring, long, uninteresting, and stupid. However, I would call the third case an improvement from the first and second case, even if only slightly. Now, I don't think I have to tell anyone that the inherited turnabout is amazing and nowhere near the worst case in Investigations 2. Then again, I found all the cases in Investigations 2 amazing, but that still doesn't turn down how good of a third case this is. At this point, I think you get the point. I'm not going to go on since many people will agree that Turnabout Academy and the right of the Turnabout are actually better cases in their respective games. I think you get the point. There has never been a time for me when the third case was actually the worst case in the game. So, that's all I have time for. Bye.